Please leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions due. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark. I am your host, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Craig. Cameron. Zach. Yeah, today we have Zach on. Um, say hello again, Zach. What's up, guys? All right, so we have one message. <laughs> guys, 385-204-3921. That's 385-204-3921. Give us your fucking questions. Yeah, you sounded so depressed about only having the one. Yeah, so, well, man. now I'm going to have to... We're what about to... the the Discord? <laughs> Is there any, anything new there? I don't think so. The After Dark channel? Um, oh, I haven't checked it. Of course you haven't checked it, Craig. I looked at it like... Once. Tuesday? Well, that's not today, is it, Craig? It's not. I agree. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's see what we have from the Skype, which is the preferred method. We like to hear your voices, so give up. Just give in. Hey, what up, new clan? Angry-ass black dude. So I got a pretty controversial question today. Uh-oh, no, I no saw the drama going on in the world nowadays. I figured I'd add some more to it. Well, seeing as how it's Girl Scout cookie season, <laughs> I was wondering, what is y'all's favorite Girl Scout cookie? I know this question, it'll divide some divide some families. Friends will kill each other over it because we all know Thin Mints are the best. Then some people are kind of <laughs> retarded. You're fucking right they are. Yeah. They're pretty fucking good, but let's be real. It's all about the fucking Thin Mints. So, um, yeah, go ahead and tell me that Thin Mints are your favorite. And if they're not, tell me why you're wrong. All right, y'all have a good day. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry to disappoint, but Thin Mints are the best. Uh, Girl Scout cookies. I've never so. actually purchased Girl Scout cookies before. Yeah, really? you just you just beat them up on the corner and you take them. That's how it's <laughs> done in the streets, you know. Yeah, isn't that the Boy Scouts? That's what we did. Hold them up, at <laughs> beat them up. Point. <laughs> yeah, I like, thought you said uh, that's what the Boy Scouts did. Sell sell some cookies. Threw, threw bon- boom doggles. You were in the Girl Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were the Girl Scouts. So I, mean, like, I think. Well, what about you? What did you say? What's your favorite? Whoa, cookie? is there creamer? I bought some. Yeah. Oh. Where's it at? Right there. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I'll go in there. I'll go in there. Okay. <laughs> he can't handle the after dark. I didn't say I couldn't handle it. I just like no, 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 no. Like the the Schweiss can't. Oh. He needs. He I, needs to alleviate. It tastes good. It, it tastes good. I don't know. Why I, I drink most of the coffee I have without creamer, but I don't like the taste of it without it. And then here I am with the uh, the black brew, and then have some as dark chocolate as you can get dark. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, we know. Cameron. Give me the bitter flavors. It, you're always I have never known happiness. Yeah, you, you, you always have to go full hog. <laughs> full hog. Yeah. I've never been happy a day in my life. Yeah, <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> yeah, based on your foods, <laughs> you should at least salt that chocolate. I mean, yeah, actually, that'd be that'd be tasty. That would actually it is good by a lot. They they actually had that at the store, so we could have bought that. Yeah, but, but it's I don't, not. I don't know how dark it would be. It wouldn't be like ninety five percent. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta salt that I yourself. Guess that's where, I guess we're all agreed that thin mints are the best. Then, um, I mean, yeah. well, I don't know. I, I, what are some Girl Scout cookies I might have had in my life? What are the peanut Dude, butter ones? I don't fucking Tag-alongs. even remember the other ones. Tagalongs, those are really good too. Those are good, but they I, only oh, tag, wait, wait, they wait, wait. merely There's, tag along with uh, the thin mints. Yeah, so, so those, those, tag, what are they called? Tag-alongs. tag-alongs. They're little peanut butter. Wait, so I'm fat. I know my There's, tag-along. there's the caramel ones that have like the little circle. Yeah, the Samoas. The, the, yeah, Samoas, yeah. yeah. Samoas, Growing yeah. up, my favorite cookie though yeah. was a, a Snickerdoodle. Yeah, yeah Snickerdoodles are good. But I have a thing now for molasses cookies. Yeah, oh. yeah, mm. yeah. Um, but the, as far as France has some great molasses yeah. cookies. Yeah. But as far as um, I guess Girl Scout cookies go, I just never, I've never had enough of them to really form an opinion. 
Uh, thin mints are you can buy them elsewhere that are in their base. I usually the same. don't yeah. purchase minty flavored chocolate. No, they're good because what you do is you throw you throw them in the freezer and then you eat them with like coffee. Right, and they're fucking amazing. Okay, dude, you don't like mint on chocolate, really? I, love I usually that. don't don't purchase that. It's not like a dislike. It. It's just not a thing that I go out of my way. Yeah, for. the only thing better than that is mint body wash on that booty hole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah minty tickles fresh. your balls a little bit too. You're yeah. Like, you get the you get the ones that have like the little uh, beads. The, yeah, the little beads. You gotta like be careful on the peanut area though, because you don't want to like go into the hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you, you ever know. feel not so fresh around your ball sack? <laughs> you know what the thing is, uh, <laughs> you get Alex? Those beads to pop on your dick. Alex was telling me to put some soy sauce on my balls because I guess your balls can like taste. And I think that's why the mint is. <laughs> what game? That's what whoa, she was whoa, telling whoa. me. Yeah, like your let's balls. Let's back up here. Let's you can back taste, it up here. You can taste with your balls. That's what I. That's what she was telling so me. So the suggestion was soy sauce. Yeah, because that's supposed to be like very. No, no. So very strong. is it someone getting the flavor of your balls, or it's you or trying you to get taste dipping your, with balls your balls in there? And can you taste them in your mouth? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, you that's some fucking pseudoscience going on Ooh. here. That's right. that's what she was saying. So all I was right, like, I right. wonder if that's let's, why I like the the minty. Let's the get minty a little cup wash. of soy sauce. <laughs> right. Twitch, you've coffee. heard it here first. Get a little cup of soy sauce. Have Schweiss go upstairs for like you know a minute, and then come back and tell us. Or if dunk them in the coffee. I, I, that's what I was gonna do. Just plop them right out. Because well, mint I mean, is uh, do the dark double dunk. Mint is like a big. It's probably got to be a really strong. <laughs> so you're saying instead of brushing your teeth, you just dip your balls. Okay, possible at okay all. this is this sounds like bullshit. But since everyone at this table has a set of balls, at least supposedly, um, we should be able to verify this. Correct. You can't he, just because he hasn't seen them for years doesn't mean yeah. they're not there. <laughs> they're there. It's it's Schrodinger's it's ma- ball it's a matter, sack. It's a matter of faith. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the re- that's the religion I subscribe to. <laughs> But th- this is something that we can, uh, you know. Wait, I'm going to Google this real quick. I scientifically, see if do the process. I, I think I, I can imagine it being the case because I, I know when I had that, it was the coffee flavored, uh, that coffee re- hair regrowth shampoo that one of you guys bought oh, me. Oh, I bought that. Yeah. Can, the first search result is, is with can you taste with your ball is the first result. Fourth is your test. Google's listening to us. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's just no delicate way to say that, but here's the truth. If you can taste with your balls, you should be able to taste with your bladder, your lungs, and your... Oh, I'm done. I thought it was going to be funny. Fuck you, science. Yeah, so what's probably going <laughs> on you, is you, you, you're fucking smelling the soy sauce. Yeah, probably. And that's uh, and that's making you... Uh, I mean, like smell is something. a lot of taste. Well, exactly. But not all of taste, because if that was the case, tuna would be absolutely disgusting. And instead, oh. it's just kind of gross. Yeah. <laughs> I like... It's it's fresh tuna is, is delicious. Yeah, but you don't get the fresh tuna in a pouch or a can. Well, the pouch albacore tuna... Do you leave starfish the, fucking the, out of this? Pa- pouch al- albacore tuna, not an oil, just in brine, is the best tuna you can get if you wanted something that's like canned tuna that you don't want to get fresh fish for. Yeah. So, albacore chunks, not flaked. I like uh, I like fresh tuna, though. That's really But fresh good. tuna's good, but you shouldn't have too much of it, I hear. Okay, so it comes from a, a, uh, an actual, like, science report in 2013 called Taste Perception from the Tongue to the Testes. <laughs> uh, oh. Thanks to two protein receptors called T1R and T2R, certain tastes, namely sour bitter and umami, the savory flavor found in soy sauce, can be recognized in cells throughout the body. These, spells, as these special taste receptors have been discovered in the respiratory system, bladder, pancreas, brain, liver, and yes, the testes too. So technically, I should be able to taste this coffee with my testicles. It's very bitter. I mean, do you want to put your balls in that cup of coffee? I, I mean, would it'd like be to pretty see warm. You do that. No, do you want to see that? Well, maybe all the. Whole oh, I mean, I could just pop them out right now. Well, you got to realize Cameron I has. I'm supposed to see the coffee. Cameron has old man balls. I don't so have old man balls. No, dude, you're always talking about your I got balls. Big balls. Your balls dunking in the water. It's like that's that's not just big balls. That's like hey, scrot yeah, I mean, that no, no, has no. been weakened over time. Maybe most, I am most not alone. toilets are low flow, so you'd have to no, have some like grandfather clock going on. I'm not alone in this. No, he's not because we've talked about this. I have yeah. sat on my balls, and it's the most. Terrible I have sat on my in balls too. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, dude. Anyways, it's terrible. Anyways, yeah. it's not every toilet. And my balls it's are only fresh toilets. <laughs> if for some reason public toilets are the ones like they have way too much water, have in way them. too much water in the it. The ones that have and HPV then, and then if don't. it's a warm day, you know everything's loose. It just kind of graces the the surface. It's Poseidon's tongue. Yeah, the Poseidon's kiss. <laughs> yeah. More than a kiss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just kissing your sack. Yeah. No, but have you have you had you never gotten out of the shower before and then 
you were just like doing something, looking at your phone, sitting in your bed, right? And then you go to scoot off your bed and roll over your balls. No, I've yeah. rolled over my yeah. balls before. Yeah, it's only happened like twice. Oh, I got the I got young man balls. They're not. <laughs> They're it's not. not like it's not. It's not just right. that. The, it's the heat. It's, it's the, the heat. heat. How fucking hot not, are you and, people getting? And, it, and, it's, and it's. It's. Yeah. 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 Now A four says he's definitely dipped his balls in the toilet water. By exactly. Accident. You just have small ball choice. It's nothing to be ashamed about. I mean, big you balls. That's another ball. sign of low testosterone. Is it? I have normal yeah. sized balls, thank you. But you just barely get big. big balls. <laughs> yeah. We have big balls. Okay, ACDC. Yeah. Oh, oh, that reminds it's me. Probably of, just got a long sack. That reminds me of A Four's. <laughs> yeah, A Four's uh, tweet about ACDC songs about balls. It was like uh, one of them was like Paul's balls, or like a bunch of made up ones, and then like the four real ones. I was laughing pretty hard at that. <laughs> I was like, all these bald songs. Worse is pinching your nuts between the twisted. It is. I've done that as well. And that fucking hurts. No, here you say I can't read it. It says worse is pinching your nuts between the toilet seat. No, I've never done that. See, the worst that I've done is uh I believe it. You know how you're supposed to scratch your balls by like just like you like rub Stop the skin like money. <laughs> like you're like pay up and that's how you scratch them because it's like the only safe way. I don't do that. You don't you don't do the you need scratch your balls. the need scratch? I um well, double you, f- <laughs> you stretch. Kim gets a pizza roller and he's like <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, it's just, you know. They're, not, they're only big because they're discs now. I just scratch them. I don't know. I, yeah, I do the I just, need. I just, like, sometimes if it's, like, a hot day and it's, like, a little itchier, I guess, I just fucking scratch them and just yeah, get in there. Yeah, just kind of, like, do it like you have dice No, I hand. just, like, full on just. That's how I scratch them, yeah, it's like you dice. Just, you can just do, like, the little uh, guitar thing right here, like that, to get right into it. Do a oh, sick true. Megadeth solo on yeah. your ball sack. They could, it could surprisingly take a lot of uh, scratching punishment yeah, compared it's to everyone else, and it just feels good. I uh so one of the, the worst thing that I've ever done is like doing the you like grab and just like fucking do this with your sack when it's like a deep itch. Do you, yeah. do you pinch too hard? Uh no, sometimes I'll like if I do it like when I'm sleeping or something, I'll 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 accidentally grab like the tube and then I'll like roll it in between what? my two fingers. <laughs> and then that's the worst pain you this can have. This is the side effect wait, of this incoming. Wait, wait. He just got to fucking mess with his testicles so you, all the time. So yeah. you're playing with your balls in your sleep is what you're saying and you accidentally fucked he's yourself just checking, over uh, once. For, he's just checking for testicular cancer in his dreams. Yeah. It's just like he does it Dude, all day during work. Alex has, has like four test- photos on her phone of me sleeping with my hand in my pants. <laughs> like I had no joke. And it's because I'll be scratching my balls and I'll fall asleep scratching my balls. And it looks like I'm like jacking off, but like I'm just scratching my balls. There's just a photo in her phone of me, like with my asleep with my hand way in my pants. Who says romance twice? The sleep debating. Yeah, sleep debating. Like oh, I got to make sure I don't get the uh, I don't get any any cancer. I got to work out that <laughs> work out that uh, fucking. It's pretty soon you start giving Alex you know sleepy mammograms just to make sure she doesn't have cancer. Yeah, now. yeah. It's like I'm not molesting <laughs> you. I'm just checking for lumps. <laughs> he says that in his sleep. Yeah, yeah. As I, and then I'm, I'm using one hand, but the other hand is like grabbing my balls. Uh, but then, as you brought up about balls being able to taste, I was like, "How does maple syrup taste?" It's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I like maple. It's very sweet. Uh, That's a, there's so, a lot of dollar stores for a long time had these uh, maple cookies, and they were like they were shaped like maple tree uh, leaves. Okay. They were really good. I like those a lot. I've like had maple cookies. They're good. Yeah. Uh, they don't have Girl Scout ones, but I, you know, I, I do think Thin Mints are probably the best. I think the um, the peanut butter ones are probably the second best. Guess what other brands are there, though? I've only, heard, I've only ever gotten those three. I, I, I work with, I, I don't know. So the Samoas are okay. I think they have, um, what are they called? Snickerdoodles. Dude, it was the time of year. We should have ordered some. Fre- some fresh snickerdoodles are are so good. Oh, they're not fresh. They're they're in Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> I just warm from the oven, fresh snickerdoodle cookies, and that just warm they're sugary nice, nice, like, cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. Well, apparently, yeah. there's some science behind that. With cinnamon, is like apparently for like dudes, that's the smell that kind of like hits your like oh fuck, I gotta fuck. Like sexual, oh, like, that's like probably smell. Well. So it hits the that cinnamon. Ex- yeah. That's so cinnamon is like a the lot. same kind of like like. Okay, that also sounds like some pseudoscience we can check out. Yeah, does can cinnamon, I cinnamon make with you my balls? Yeah. Cinnamon is an <laughs> You just like stick your balls in your dicks. I'm like, bam, ready to go. 
Yeah, if I insert cinnamon into my asshole, am oh, I ready to rock? Gotta, ready to it's got to be a full <laughs> stick, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, just just fucking just fucking powder powder up with that's, fucking cinnamon no, no, right no. before you fuck. That's, oh, that sounds like a that's how the wife, spicy idea. <laughs> that's how the wife. I gets don't need you. you're, baby you're, powder. I've got cinnamon. The, she's sitting there. You're sitting there sleeping, and she just slides and a you cinnamon both have stock to do the, in your uh, ass. Do the, do the, go, then you both have to do the cinnamon spoon challenge at the same time. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that reminds me about you know, the cinnamon spoon <laughs> challenge. One time, I saw this German dude in, like do the spoon challenge, right? A spoonful of cinnamon, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, it's just you know, there uh, das zimt or whatever cinnamon is das zimt." That I put that on my rice. So it's like there's no problem. Like, no, you can back out now. Like, you, if you don't want to do it, he just fucking does it, and he's sitting there like. You know, as it's sucking all the moisture out of your mouth, and then it starts to be cinnamon in your mouth, and he like fucking freaks out, runs off, and he comes back so so depressed, just like sad. He's like, like I put it on my rice. I didn't know it'd do that to me. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> and I just want to see what that's like on your balls and in, in the middle yeah. of a, <laughs> a session. Yeah. Yeah, no, like the uh, like as you get erect, the cinnamon stock just goes further in your ass. You just like it's like oh, yeah. a <laughs> it's like a one to one ratio of growth gonna, and cinnamon stock. It's like hit that hot I put some ass. of that dark chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I put some of that dark chocolate in my coffee, like you did, and just looks like someone took a shit in the bottom of my cup. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, read, read the tea leaves. Oh on. man, the the, the beans leaves. are very flavorful today. <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I like Girl Scout cookies. They're a little too expensive, though. Um, right, it's why would the, I support Yeah, them? it's like $5 a box or something. Yeah, like it's that. like, I mean, I know you're... I Okay, first of all, I don't care about half of what they stand for. I, I think it's cool, and I think it's good, and I don't think there's a problem with it. But you can't... You gotta have a more marketable product. I mean, it's so expensive. Did and you like, see that uh, the Boy Scouts might be mints. declaring bankruptcy? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they saw, it seems like they... Too many boys get in touch because... Uh, they don't pay attention. They can't handle it without the, the Mormon church. Yeah, everyone likes to them. say that the Mormon church was propping them up, but how true is that? Well, I mean, now they're bankrupt, so... Well, I heard they're <laughs> bankrupt because they can't afford the uh, like all the payouts they have to make to families where their like, leaders molested the kids. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah see, that's what the big like, the deal is. is like, why they're, like, they're like, well, you shouldn't go bankrupt because of that. And I'm like, well, we can't pay them. Yeah. I See, and I, I don't know if that's really a problem in the Mormon church, so I imagine it probably helped because they had more members. <laughs> It's uh, annoying though, because like I really liked Scouts when I went. I thought it was really great. Yeah, I did too. I mean, um, there are you know definitely stories about people getting. Are you talking about church adding to the problem of kids getting? Touched? No, I'm talking about money. church not oh. adding to the problem. Okay, I'll talking about it being yeah. a help to that. Right. Because I, I mean, mean I, I could see it being a big thing because like every everyone did it. Every ward, every whatever, they they, they did Scouts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was great. I loved it. That was like the and best. So time. yeah. So the thing with is with that with the Mormon Church and when they had their thing with Scouting, even if you didn't belong to the church, but you'd go to like the church every once in a while and wanted to do Scouting, they would pay your fees for you. Yeah. And yeah. so you could have kids on the Scouting role that fees were being paid for that would hardly ever go. And that, you know, yeah, so, yeah it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a big thing. It was an investment in trying to welcome you to the community one yeah. way or another, which isn't bad. No, and scouting was good. Yeah, it was. It did, but it really depended on uh, on which ward you were in, if you had a leader who was actually into scouting or a leader who didn't have anything better to do. Yeah. So s- real scout troops always make fun of the Mormon troops just because they'll have a new leader every so often, just because to them it was a calling in the church you would do for a little bit before you got switched to something else. Yeah, see, Whereas a real scout troop, you were this scout troop master for a long time yeah. in the area. And see, you were super invested in scouts and helping kids do that. I think mine was always the same. We had like right. higher ups that would change out, but not like the scout master. He was right. always the same person. Uh, I don't know. And then for me, it varied, you know, depending on what troop I was a part yeah. of, how into it we were. Troop 48 was mine. That was really good. Yeah. You an Eagle Scout? It's kind of no, I'm not an Eagle Scout. It's kind of crazy that we were number 48. Are like, you an Eagle Scout, Zach? I am. Mm, he did all of his stuff. Yeah, see, I stopped. Oh, I was, I got, I think I got tenderfoot. I like did nothing. We just fucked around and did camping. Um, they basically were like, "Do you guys want to do badges or do you want to just go camping?" And we were like, "We just want to go camping and hiking." And they're like, "Okay, that's fine." Yeah, the one I did, they're super fucking into it, like a lot. Yeah, I wish I would have done it, but I don't know. Um, uh, but everyone else, like Utah Scouts and, you know, what they do here, everyone was like super into it. But I heard like in other places, like my old roommate Jacob in Iowa, he's like, the only people who do Scouts are just people who want to go 
walk in the forest and fuck each other in the ass. That's exactly what he said about it. That sounds like Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I always loved it. It's too Getting bad. Fucked in the ass or going like a scout. Both. I mean. So yeah, uh, I ended. Uh, I ended. I as erased a, the whole thing as a life scout. Didn't get my eagle. Didn't want to put in the. She got close though. Uh, yeah. But I also ended up like doing certain merit badges over and over and over again, just because yeah. I kept moving I and kept losing too. my stuff. Yeah. Same. So. I didn't move. I just lost my shit. I did environmental science like seventeen. Well, if, if you did that, and they keep the paperwork on it, yeah, just well, need to get the badge. Like give them. They, they get it. They yeah. Didn't do that. Oh well, fuck them. And then there was this one time, fuck. I was just playing around with uh, uh, some, you know, a laptop and a video camera and stuff, and made uh, like a little f- funny little short thing that wasn't really good. And mm-hmm. then my scoutmaster gave me like a multimedia badge just because I did that. And he's like, "Okay, here's the badge. Stock, hit yes, stock here. You get a badge. You get a badge." And it's just like, well, I didn't yeah, even do any of the requirements. <laughs> I didn't know Oprah Winfrey was in the Boy Scouts. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's how my Boy Scouts was. We got fucking and then and then. Okay, I, I, can't, I admit I sometimes do do the do what Schweiss does, and I look at comments on articles and stuff because I know there's going to be something there that's going to be going to make me angry. And I know Schweiss does that on Twitter and Facebook. I thought it's I was like only following one that did Polygon that. just to be mad at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, sometimes uh, I, I'll go to the KSL news site, the a Utah news site. And look at an article, right? And then for the most part, the article is re- written in a very impartial way, right? But then most of the people reading it are very, you know, right-wing Utah Mormon people. And so when it had this whole thing about the Boy Scouts and it just went, look what happened when the Scouts lost its morals and stuff like that. Just because they started letting gay kids join. And girls. And then, and then, and girls joined too. And, and then they were super mad about, oh, they lost their way and we left them and now they're going to die because they lost their morals. I'm like, fuck you guys. Dude, I, all I do you is fuck troll you and KSL, your, uh, KUTV too. Yeah. That's all I do. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were girl troops before, but. Yeah, the I mean, there's, there, there is an and argument for that, but I don't think that's why they lost all their money. No, no, well, no, no. I mean, th- th- that's why the church backed away from it, because they're like, oh, we can't have this. Yeah, and I, like, I respect yeah. that, because they have a stance, and they're not going to give in. I mean, yeah. fair. I, I can yeah, well, I not, not agree with it, necessarily, although I don't disagree i don't really care oh but uh, uh also recently the byu relaxed its uh its th- thing around that kind of relaxed i said I didn't get rid of it okay. yeah it's not as great as everyone still gonna thinks it if you're gay though yeah so if you, you if you engage in gay activities it'll be it's not an immediate uh what was it before uh, expulsion it was immediate. immediate expulsion but now it's just uh just you know, Brigham Young's junk, whatever. We're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. like, we can't have that. But what? It, so so they relaxed it. What are they doing now? Um, I have no idea. I just know that it's not expulsion anymore. Which okay. is what they say, but I guarantee they'll come up with a way to kick you out. Okay. I mean, like all these like couples that I've seen like kissing in front of like the office or whatever is is horse shit. Because one, no one's there. Right. You're not brave to me if you don't do it. And people aren't there. Like, right. I'm sorry, that's shitty, but yeah, do what people are there. And two, like if they know who you are. They're going to target you now, like 100%. They're yeah. not going like, to go easy. I've heard some, some intense stories about kids in BYU. Yeah, I don't see there. I don't really care either because it's a private It's a private school, right. so yeah. If you don't want to. And see, I don't understand the whole like, you know, I don't understand like the whole idea of like we need to fight back. It's like just go to another school. You don't right. have to go to so BYU. So for the most That's part, for too. the most part, I agree with you. But it's, the, it's uh, yeah, for the most part, I agree. It's just a waste of time. Like... <laughs> No agreed. If they if they can if they if they can uh, go to another school, um, as far as you know, their parents aren't forcing them to go to a certain school, and then they don't want you know. Well, yeah. their parents should realize that their 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 son activity is, is against the honor code at that school. Why would you send them there if you know right. they're breaking the rules? Well, like, how do you know though? How do you well, they probably know now. I, well, mean, I mean, yeah, now it's like why'd you get kicked out? Oh, I suck <laughs> dick. Oh, okay. I suck Brigham Young's cock. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I mean, agree, though. It is a private institution. I get that. Right. I, th- I think yeah. for an organization that's like, hey, agency, man, you can choose what you want. It's pretty fucked up to be like, <laughs> but you can't choose that? Like, yeah. Personally, well, coming it's, from that religion. I Well, I don't know if that's really so. an anti-agency thing, though. It's because this is our thing, and it's not, you can have agency, but you don't have to be part of this. I mean, that's fair. Is the thing. That's fair. I just don't like the way you... You go to my school, you live by my rules. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, is like, you have agency, but... Like, you, are you going to let your kids do whatever they want at home? At home? Well, if you're a shitty parent, the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. 
if you're not a shitty parent, it's like, yeah, you have the ability to do whatever you want, but there are rules, and yeah, you right. need to obey those rules. I'm not saying I like the rules. I'm just saying that the idea right. of it being anti-agency is silly. One of the things I used to like to do, too, is drive up to BYU and play like a lot of music. Yeah, but... Like, said fucking shit and damn much, but... Like, yeah! like, that's, that's the thing, is... Uh, it's a private school, and if you are gay and you don't want to, you know, abide by those rules, then don't go there. It's mostly for the kids who uh, who found out that they were gay right. during, you know, they're going to school there, or you know, they want to get into a relationship and they're going to school there because <laughs> yeah. you can get so far and be basically ready to graduate, but then you can uh, the school can pull your ecclesia what's the word ecclesiastical ecclesiastical uh, endorsement, and you won't graduate and you won't get your credits. And that shit. And all that money's gone. But you see that too, I mean, like, you know, I, I, I've hooked up with a lot of BYU chicks. Like, yeah. I a lot mean, of chicks, like, singles, we're not, stuff. We're, it's like, oh, we can't. Like, it's like, oh, let me pick you up from your dorm. Oh, no, I'll meet you somewhere. And it's like, well, why? It's like, oh, because if they see me with a guy, they're gonna, my roommates might tell. It's like, tell what? But I'm hitting the back of your throat? Like, they're not <laughs> yeah. going to know what you say. No, something. so like, that's... you're that, still a virgin. That's a... That's <laughs> a <laughs> yeah. It doesn't count. That's, that's, a whole n- that's a whole other thing. That's your yeah. rule, not mine. That's a, that, There's a whole separate uh, BYU young adult culture that goes on. No, there is. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, and they're all... They're all st- Everyone, everyone's too. lying about it. So yeah, yeah, if you put it in and you don't move, it doesn't count as sex. Yeah, it's soaking, that's all. Yeah, you get a friend to move the... Marinating, so soaking, fuck yeah. docking, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cheating. It really is, and like it's, it's not it's so dumb. It's cheating. It's it not is cheating. cheating. It's breaking the rules. No, you're right, no, still, okay, okay. You're still it's, in it's, so you're cheating, still the badge. right? But I'm saying you're fucking having sex. You're not like skirting the rules. It's, it's yeah, that's what, what I'm it saying. is. You're cheating the rules. No, but here. but they're convincing themselves that it's not. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. wrong. Yeah, like a certain friend we have. Oh, uh, they can, they convince themselves that they're not wrong. Okay, yeah. Like with anal, right? I have a friend that says that. Breaking the law of chastity, you want they're gonna get married in the temple. Yeah, it's what it is. People yeah. are idiots. I, I, and see, the thing is, is like if they brought that to the bishop, he'd be like, "No, actually, that's <laughs> that's not how that works." Exactly. But they won't do it because they convince themselves, even no, though yeah, they know I, the yeah, rules no. say otherwise. No, I had my my ex was it was exactly like that. Yeah, it's so. crazy. Yeah, it's like p- these people. You just like you just convince yourself of these things, and it's like, dude. What are you fucking blind here? Just like, live a life the way you want to live yeah, it without like, having to like play mind games. And the with thing yourself. is, is you don't have to follow every rule. Like it's not the end of the world. Now, to be it, fair, you kind of have to because I got kicked out of the singles ward like five years ago. Well, I mean, you, I don't know if you have to for follow me, every rule. For me, rule. I was, I was like, you either fucking believe in it, and if you believe in it, you're going to obey the fucking rules, right. or you don't believe in it. And you're just living on the edge, and you're never happy because well, you're big, always yeah. towing the line on either side. And it's the whole like, Christian guilt thing, too, I yeah. think, with that. And so most of the members, I feel like, are on that fucking line of feeling guilty and going back and forth <laughs> and stuff like that. And that you know that's how the church controls them. And so I was starting to get there. I'm like, you either, A, believe in it, and you obey the rules, or you don't, and you leave and live a good life. Well... That's what, that's what I came to, too. Yeah. 100%. That's exactly what I came to, too. Yeah, I kind of did, too. But now I'm starting to see that it's not... That simple. Are you going to go back to church? No, I'm not going to go back to church, but I don't know. I So, okay. So for me, you don't have to believe every bit of it to believe enough but, of it to make but it But that's work. not what the Mormon church is I all about. I know that's not what they say, but it doesn't really matter so what So you're they say. still making it all right for yourself. You're still, you're still holding convincing on. Yourself, you're convincing yourself that this is okay. Well, right, just but like just because there are some problems with something, that doesn't mean you scrap the entirety of it. And that's the idea that you're, you're bringing forth. You're saying, oh, you either believe it all or you don't believe I'm any of it. I'm just talking about like, the ideology of the church, of the Mormon church specifically— you either you believe it or you don't. You can't just cherry pick but what I, you but do. But I think and don't as well. I don't think you have to believe everything because, to because follow what they you, say. You, as a person, can and convince yourself that it's okay, just like we were talking about before. But every fucking six months, the church will have you know their leaders come up and talk about how that is not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be devoting everything and living by all the rules from the church. It's not like you're mostly living by the rules. That's fine. No, it's you got to live by all the rules. And but the people who do that are the hardest people to get along with. Yeah. Actually, the hardest people to get along with are the ones who add rules and then follow those. I think oh, the hardest like the people who fucking believe that they can't drink soda because it has caffeine in it because of the hot drinks rule applies to coffee somehow. And then they're in their minds. They think coffee is somehow related 
to well, the caffeine. To, ca- to the caffeine, no, which no, no, means no. soda. So, it's, it's, so it's, they yeah. ban all soda because they're like, yeah, we can't have it. Or it's against like, the we, word we of wisdom. Can't, we can't see anything above a those PG people. Movie because those bad. people are impossible to get along. I with. think the hardest people to get along with are the people that used to be a big part of it and now are jaded. Those are the <laughs> hardest people to get along with. When talking about that. Because they're just There's as a specific ideological. Person he's talking about. They're just as oh. ideological as the people they hate, and it's annoying. I guess you could say that about I anyone that. who's been jaded by any religion. So because then it's like it's like those KSL people, like it's the other yeah. people being like, "Oh, this is all just so ridiculous." Like, you know, like how could you possibly believe this? And like, it's like just such a waste of time. Mm. It's like you probably believe in all it's, sorts of It's those of people who go on crusades against it yeah. is what he's talking they're about. They're just as annoying. In oh, fact, yeah. I think they're more annoying because they claim that they don't have you know, a higher order that they answer to, even though they do. Well, and you still it's it's still bugs them. That's the thing. It's like you can see it. I get you. Like, For me, it was just a logical decision. It was you either A, believe in it, and you follow the rules because you believe it's true, and so you, that's what you believe you got to do. Or you kind of believe in it, but then you're always towing the line, and you're never happy. Yeah. And, and then that's the whole thing where I was like in a relationship. I was like, you know what? Like, this is bullshit. What's going on back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, no, no, I'm done. Yeah. Because a lot of the stuff doesn't make sense to me. And, you so, know, that's that's something that I've been listening to. to and I just left and lived my life. To, uh, to Ben Shapiro a lot. And a lot of people ask him questions about, like, his views on some of these things, like gays and stuff. And he's like, well, I, I don't care. So, Morally, he doesn't think it's right, but he doesn't care on a political level. But that's he also a libertari- says, like, libertarian type of thing. Just let them do what they yeah, want to do. Yeah, it is. And it's, exactly. that's exactly how it should be. But it, his thing is, like, they're like, well, what if, you know, your buddy's with Dave Rubin. He's openly gay. Would you go to his wedding? And he said no. And he's like, because I don't think that's right, but I'm not going to not be his friend. And his thing is very much like what you just said. He's like, and anyone that's, uh, you know, Jewish like he is, he's like, he, there's a lot of people that don't really follow the rules. And he's like, no, that's not how it works. You follow the rules. And you believe, and that's how it is. It's either it's or you don't. And he's like, it's fine either way. But if you're going to claim to be, and this is one of the things that Bernie okay, Sanders just scene, did, where yeah. he was like, oh, I love being a Jewish man, and like he called him out. He's like, no, you can't just be Jewish when you feel like it. It's like you have to follow the rules, <laughs> or you don't, or you're not really See, fucking that's, Jewish. That's another it's thing. Like, it's when people pretend well, I mean, that it's you know, especially it's, there, there's a people. there's a certain someone. It's a lot of things, but there's a certain someone that we know. Um, but, uh, it's when they put on a face, like they're, you know, super religious and they're doing all the things that they're supposed to be doing, but you know, they're not. Yeah. Right. And it's, they're always towing the line, always making, you know, these decisions and then they're pretending that they, they're And then they talk true. shit about it. And you, then they talk shit. You're not yeah. Like, oh, well, you'd be so much happier. And it's like, but well, I already am happy because I'm not. I do respect people fake. who stick by their beliefs. Yeah. As long as it doesn't, uh, you know, infringe upon the rights of other people. That's my thing, yeah. As long and as if you believe exactly. in something and you fucking hold on to it, that has to be respected. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. But if you're towing the line, you gotta, there has to be a point you have to be honest to yourself and hold yourself to what your values are. Because you can't be towing the line back and forth because you, you're, you're, too, you're never going to define what your core values yeah. are. Yeah, and I think that's one of the problems with, with Mormonism and a lot of modern religion. Um, so like I said, I've been listening to a bunch of podcasts on, on these kind of ideas, and one of the guys, that, that Jordan Peterson, his big thing is that the whole idea of the Bible like and, and these religious texts, it's not – he doesn't take it like literally. It's supposed to be metaphorical, every bit of it in his eyes, and it's like it's not – and the, the thing is that his, his – one of his main points is that the biggest – like the most egregious thing you can do as a religion is to say that it is fact – Mm-hmm. Because it's like it's not that's not I really mean, how it works, and that's one of the things that the Mormon as, Church kind of does. They hundred yeah. percent do because that's what they have you go out and do for two years. Or yeah, two. that and like when you bear your testimony, you you you, you say it's you know right. it's true, and it's like well, Actually, it's not about see, knowing. Again, with the Mormon Church, there's this hierarchy of you know how many how, how you know high up the organization you are to where I heard someone say that unless you're an apostle, you can't say I know it is true. Yeah, but you can't even you say You have to say I believe it's true because only the apostles have a full knowledge and yeah. have seen like, Christ. It's called, it's called like the second knowledge or whatever. Yeah. 
Just, yeah. Just, there's the fucking second level stuff and the second baptism I, stuff that you get you learn about. Dude, and, I got into it hardcore, man. Yeah. Like studying, I studied so much shit. Yeah. There's so there's there's, deep, there's, deep, deep, there's deep, like deep deep a books. a second level of Mormonism that the average member doesn't really ever no, hear and about, then, and then and no one fucking talks about it and because it sounds culty when you talk about it, <laughs> and they got you. And you gotta and you got to be fully into the church before they'll breach those subjects with you. I was still a balling to go ahead after my mission. I read that shit. Yeah, yeah that's I what mean, I, did. I studied all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I with his idea, it's that it's all meant to be like allegorical and you know, like metaphorical. Which and the reason makes sense. it does make sense because that's how we tell stories. Like when we yeah. dramatize something, when we tell a story about something that happened, I we mean, dramatize. I agree it. with exactly. that. That you're supposed to take it metaphorically, but no one does. But the but the religions themselves have only started to switch to that viewpoint like right now as. They have nothing else to fall back on because science is proving certain things. Right. Well, wrong that's what religion was. It was right. the way, like the Greeks, the Norse, whatever, Romans, trying to explain. That's the world. how they explained how shit yeah. happened. And but no, see, the argument though is that's not what it was, and that's the argument that he brings forward is that they weren't because if you think about it, the scientific method is only a few hundred years old. Right. So they weren't thinking scientifically. So they weren't trying to explain the way the world works. They were trying to explain how you should act in the world. That's interesting. Which is different. That's an interesting point of view. Yeah, and I, I was like, that I actually don't know makes if that's entirely true for ancient ancient civilizations. For some of them, maybe but not. But but it wasn't. I would say but they maybe weren't maybe scientists, for, though. That's it's, the it's thing. Hard to, the, you, and you can't say that the Bible was supposed to be only like it was supposed to be interpreted this way, and it was written with this in mind because the Bible is just a collection of several different books written by right. many different people right. over and well, revised. a long period of time and then edited by a different group of people well, what into you get the too current is like, version that we have. It, well, the current version we have too is flawed because yeah. it doesn't, ancient Hebrew doesn't doesn't well, and then, well then and then it had it to go through to it had to go first. through you know you know a whole like series of editing by people who didn't want certain topics to Catholic be broached. Uh, yeah. You know, in in you know certain circles to help you know control people because religion right. was used as a control at right. one point. It was it was and so line. the version of the Bible we have now, you can't say it was meant, written in a certain way to be interpreted in a certain way because it's just a collection of a whole bunch of different stuff. Right, but the origins of that, the way storytelling existed as an art back then, it wasn't an explanation. I'm talking, we're talking like thousands of years of separation. Yeah, I know. I know, but the we didn't think scientifically until very but recently. The, but you're still just trying to group a whole bunch of texts from a whole different periods underneath one type of style of thinking, which for the most no, part... No, it is. It, it For the most part, since most of human history, we weren't scientists, is right. very true. We explained... I'm not trying to say it was being scientific. What I'm trying to say, what I think would happen for a, a good portion of it someone was trying would really did think that this was god doing the stuff well like, i don't know if i don't know if i think that's true or not i think that but you can't say that it isn't true either because of how how much time has passed and even in between how certain sections of the bible were right written. but that doesn't matter because the time is still before the scientific method was ever invented but you can't before just say that because scientific scientific method wasn't invented yet you can't but, say that someone wrote down a story to try to explain how the world worked i mean look how the native americans try to explain how the world worked yes it was like through stories and whatnot right but that's not the what matters the story isn't teaching you how the world works the story is right. teaching you how to act that's what the whole bible is it's not this is fact it's it's an allegory for how you should act in the world. It's Cain is bad. Abel was bad in some ways by being, you know, not strong enough to defend himself. Like, that's what the story is. It's not, this is fact. It's, this is, this Abel is an idea. Pussy. It's an idea of how a to be. a shot with a rock twice. <laughs> I yeah. in the back of the head. <laughs> you gotta to be. be fair, he flaunted that meat in front of him. He's like, look at me, bitch. I got pork. And it's, it, so I mean, it's, it, it's, some people take it, that's what I'm saying is the big problem with modern religion, though, is a lot of people take it to be fact. And it's like, right. well, I think it's a lot stronger if you if you look at it. But and you I'm, say, not, I'm just saying, for a good portion of time, people thought that the Bible was literal fact, even before do. the scientific method. They still do. Yeah, people still do. Uh, and I don't right. know if I think that's really how people looked at it. I don't really think it is. You don't know how they looked at it. 
Well, neither do you, Cameron. I know, and so you can't just say it's well, one way. Well, neither can you. You're, you're, and I'm you're not ref- saying you're it's refu- just one way. Your I'm not saying that. To my, so anyway, it's to my point. are the best Girl Scout cookies. cookies. I am not fucking saying that's how it was written in <laughs> just one way. I'm just saying you can't say it was written in just to be interpreted right, one let's, way. Let's not I think make this episode no, an hour I think long, I can. guys. Please. I think I can, because the way storytelling existed... I would really like to not The way storytelling existed in the past was meant to be that it wasn't meant to be fact it wasn't meant to be this i would like to not be ignored right now it was just you tell a story it's like <laughs> aesop's fables i look at it just like i look at aesop's fables like of course no one believes that the hare actually lost to the tortoise i do nobody believes that <laughs> it's not the point of the story isn't the fact that the hare lost to the tortoise it's the idea that slow and steady wins the race well, that's the- a deeper idea than just oh you believe that the hare lost to a tortoise what are I you i don't dumb? believe they talked to begin with yeah yeah <laughs> But I, I don't mean, think the I don't think the tortoise knew there was a race, but I don't think he understands that word. But I so I think there I, I don't know I kind of feel like that's that's the right way to look at it, and most everyone doesn't look at it that way, and that's why it's so right. Annoying. I agree that's the right way to look at it, and I'm not. Uh, and but you're right that most everyone all, ever has not looked at it that way. Correct, and, and that's what I was saying because it's a totally different thing. It's not. It shouldn't be. You know, you can only believe this if you're an idiot. It's like, well, that's it, it doesn't everyone believes it. Almost everyone in Western civilization believes almost every story in there. But they don't believe it as true. They believe it as a different kind of true. Not like fact, but like the meaning behind it, the way the stories, mm. the, the the way that it pans out, the, the morals that it implies, the morals that it sets. Most everyone follows. Even atheists follow it. To a large degree, you know, it's it's well, a lot of our modern civilization was built off of it. Exactly, and modern yeah. morals were. And built so it's off not a it, matter so. of believing it as fact. It's Gotta more go fast day four. It's more a matter of believing it as That's like right. a, a different kind of way. And I think most religious people lost that, and it's a shame because. I think that's actually a stronger argument for religion. Well, I, think, well, I think they went to the okay. they, they went back to let's, the same let's be thing. Done well, with this topic, please. Wait, 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 wait. 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 I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to. I don't civilization. want this to be an hour I know, long. But I was going to say. I was going to so say. Tribal, I think it's just, the religions go to tribalism is what it is. It's going back to tribalism. I think you turned your mic off. I was going to say that um, we yeah. could yeah. probably. I didn't actually turn it off. Um, I did. Just like a little slider. That <laughs> I, what I was going to say is we could get into this huge thing, a discussion later on a different type of podcast idea again about how the Catholic Church in the whole period of time changed the way, you know, religions, you know, religious people thought about yeah. the world. And it changed, you know, there could be a very different outcome with the world today. It's funny, though, because the Catholics now are... They totally embrace all science. Well, they have to because they. Well, you don't really have to. Well, Anti-cancer modern modern so religions much. modern religions have to adapt to modern times in order to retain members. Yeah, in a way, but again, like if you look at it in the way that I'm explaining, it doesn't I matter. I mean, look how long it took the church I mean, to accept that the Earth big. was not the center of the universe. Yeah, that was against that. the church. And yeah. so, but again, that's a, that's a so. different like exploratory episode that we can do. So yeah. we can get to the yeah, main thin mints yeah. fucking rock. Yeah, yeah, thin mints are great. All right, uh, had, we we only had one question, guys, and if we only have one question, we're gonna go on a fucking rant, and we don't even know what it is when we start. We just have to find something to make it's us beautiful. mad, and we will fucking argue. About it's beautiful it. to watch you guys work sometimes. I'm just gonna yeah. throw that in. I mean, I love the topic of religion. I could argue about it all the time, but not right. Do you have somewhere to be? Maybe. Okay. Oh, do you really? Well, he doesn't know. He's he's he, he has plans that are cooking. I'm, maybe, I'm, so. Yeah, I'm cooking some plans oh, right see. now. So. I thought you oh, I thought you were just being annoying. You're cooking and plans like, guys, with Chica? guys, I don't yeah. want to talk about oh, this, so you can't talk. Craig about is gonna get some. No, I don't mind talking about this. You know that we've had this. But he discussion knows before. that we could probably go for another fucking hour. Oh, well, we about easily this. could. Oh, yeah. yeah, it would be easily more than that. So, <laughs> and we have before on on lesser topics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so 385-204-3921. Give us your questions so that we can avoid all of this, um, even though it's so fun. It's uh, what we want to hear. We want to hear from you guys. We want to answer your questions, good or bad. There's never a bad question. There are only dumb questions and not dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so uh. give us a call, 385-204-3921. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time. Mankind has always been poison. Up on your 
yourselves and give up on the world. Every puzzle has an answer. Dumbass. Keep watching out and do the impossible. Remember that. I'm glad I met you guys. Maybe pick up our things. I probably would have just gone on ignoring. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in me. Believe in the Kamina who believes in you. Everybody deals with...